exactly what you want to take. Okay, oh, sorry. No, no, no. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry. Don't worry. Oh, I think Candy is going to eat that bird. <laughs> That is too funny. I don't know if the camera's to see that. Oh, okay. oh my gosh, you are a cochine. Oh, I've really done with another one. Oh, oh, nice. Nice. Zebra. Mm -hmm. Yeah, zebra. You ready, kiddo? Banana berry. No. <laughs> see you guys later. Oh, this is for the kids, I thought. You know, when I'm going to play out there. Yeah, if you watch them. Because yeah. I got one that would follow right up. Oh, this. And that is, this okay. is really pretty. Thanks, both of you. Okay. Yeah, autumn. This is pretty, too. Autumn. I don't know how you remember them all. Not that I got them all. Yeah. I thought they, mine, they have a purple ball, and I keep rolling it up, putting it away, and there's all the ones again. That's okay. I'm going to just run out real quick. I see that, and I will be back out in a couple of minutes. Ah, did you see that? I, I made it in the donut.
Okay, guys, let's put the bird ear up. <laughs> You're going to get that bird, aren't you? <laughs> This is what's chirping. <laughs> just something I found online. It's just uh, got a little motion sensor in it. <laughs> what's this? <laughs> no, I have I have my own bird. I just thought I'd get one for Jackie and see if she liked that. I haven't figured out. Uh, <laughs> yeah, you're welcome. I turned that off. Yeah, I had to turn mine off too because mine were knocking it all over the place. <laughs> I'm good on yarn. Yeah. I'm uh. I'm good on solid colors. I'm still, I'm, I've got some uh, Icelandic on order. Uh, that turned out to be a real popular one because uh, I'm, more people than I did thought of uh, Frozen and with that. But I got a, a few skeins on order. Yeah, I wondered why that check didn't get cashed when I was doing my. What I'm happened? So sorry. <laughs> Yeah. Really do that. I can tell Here. We'll just replace oh, it with yeah. this. Okay. Thank you. Well, I was I was relieved actually when I saw that was yours. I didn't have to admit that. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Well, when I was balancing my checkbook, I thought, well, why isn't that on the chest? Oh, now I know. Yeah, that's your pocket. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, everybody. How's everyone doing? Well, they appreciated the bird being turned off. Oh. <laughs> yeah. It's not, not exactly a cat toy. It's it's just, uh, it was just something neat I found. Yeah, where is it? I'm going to um, it inside. Yeah, right there. Okay. Keep it for, safe from them. Thank you, I Pat. was thinking uh, when I saw them, I was like, hmm. Yeah. Uh, I got one for my sister and one for my uh, stepmom and oh, stuff. And they're really pretty, I think. Oh. Oh, keep five pairs of gloves to the male ladies. Oh yeah, that would that would be a good idea. I just brought in three more pairs. Yeah, we're gonna. Um, that goes down with another kitty blanket. Yo, you love the colors of it. Light periwinkle and zebra. 
Oh, oh, that ought to be good. Yeah, I haven't done that one before. I thought that looked was yeah, really good. Yeah, that should be real pretty. But I have more of the Icelandic on order, and mm -hmm. because everybody wants it, because it looks like the colors from Frozen. Oh, I've heard that. Yeah, yes. so um, she had ordered some for a customer, so she ordered me some, too. So, like, gosh, everything else is coming in. Get that right in. Did you see Abner and Dickens was adopted? That's the two twin boys, the buff boys. That was born here, and they were big. Oh my gosh! Yeah. Really? Yeah. Well, that's wonderful. Ready? Mudgy is ready. Okay. Hey, here's a coffee for a cappuccino mudslide. Ooh, that sounds like it. Must Mocha be with a, a shot of espresso. Hmm. I will probably be bouncing off the walls. Yeah. Well, the kitties will keep up with you. Um. Charlie is a is a Kobe. Charlie is a Kobe. Haven't done Farrah's Mad yet. Haven't done Farrah's new collar yet either. Oh. Maybe I can. Is that Farrah? Yep. Hey, Farrah. She says, oh, 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 no, no, no. I know. Did she go? No, she's right here. She says, I know something's up. She's very smart. I know these things. Yes, I do. And Pat, just real quick too, do you know Sunday is our um, volunteer meeting? I'm trying to remember to do that. Okay, it's up there. It's two to nine. Thank you, Kara. Well, we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and get started, and then afterwards, if I that's all, I do have to try to get in early tonight, um, and then I'll be up for whatever questions or whatever. Ooh, I don't and, know which uh, one is McSunny. I can't yeah. remember which one is McSunny. Yeah, you guys, um, yeah, oh, I had a lot of fun with you all last night. <laughs> all right, well, we're going to get started, and um, I just appreciate everybody and for what you do for us. It, it means a lot to me. Mudgie's ready, so we're going to we're gonna go. You are going to fall. I saw that. Uh, today I started working on the collars, and I got maybe half a dozen done. So, yeah, we're not sure. We're not sure, Packer Backer. This one here is from uh, Jack Cat, and I'm really excited about these. They're the dirt bags. There's three of them here, Mudgy. And, um, can I take that, Jack Cat? Uh, I appreciate this. Oh, I should have said heads up. Very, very much. Um, yeah, so these are what we use to cover the monitors up. And, oh, you can use them for printers, monitors, the computers, it says. And I'm going to open one, she suggested. Try it, make sure, because they're all the same size. And then we'll, if they do a great job, well, dirt bags or dust covers, whatever you want to call them. Um, they do a great job at keeping the fur and the dirt dust out of the computers. And uh, boy, that helps us a lot because we have a lot of fur flying around here. It's amazing. I take these off every couple months and wash them and it's, it's quite amazing how much dirt is in them. So this is another project for me to do tomorrow. This is my project pen. That's where all my projects will go that I got to do for tomorrow. So thank you, Jack Cat. Yep, those are from Jack Cat. Um, no, and when we're done with boxes, I'll be happy to go over everything with you about the Kobe's. Yep, I will. Uh, this one is from I don't know who. Yeah, we do. Oh, this is from Katie L. It says, hope this will help with cold season from a lurker in Canada. We love our lurkers, too. Um, Katie, Katie L. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, yeah, yeah Katie, thank you. This is a, a three-pack, I believe. Yep, it's a lemon, li lemon lime um, disinfecting wipes from Lysol. We use a lot of these, and... Um, we do. We uh, use a lot of these and we try once a day to go around and do all of our doorknobs 
I know Defiance is hit really hard right now with the flu and the colds. So, no more flu, no more colds. Yeah. Yes, yes, Pet Fairy. Yep, they're designed to go on um, the computer items. Yep. Okay. Katie, Katie, um, I appreciate this very much. Yep, we love these. No, Trucker wasn't quite done. Okay, this one I'm going to say heads up over YouTube that. <laughs> yeah, we we tried very hard to be conservative on um, our Lysol and our Clorox wipes, but uh, we do use a lot. We love them. They help us be healthy. Oops, there we go. Oh, this is from Katie, too. This is also from Katie L. Hope this will help with cold season from a lurker in Canada. Um, I don't know what this is. You're not This is hand sanitizer, refreshing gel. Well, I, I'll probably, there we go. I'll say, let me get into that one. Truckers are always sorry when he does that. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Yep, Katie, we use a lot of this, too. And I always get a kick out of it. Kids know what these are. They've got to use them in schools. Because the kids, it's like old hat to them. When they come here, they use these. Oh, no. And, oh, Katie, thank you. We have two boxes of eight each of clean mixes. And trust me, we've been using a lot of these lately. Um, these are Kleenex Ultra Soft. And there's eight in each one. Oh, yeah. This size fits in our, we have these plastic things that um, we can slide these into. So you just pull them and it stays put. Katie, thank you for this. Appreciate it. <clears throat> yeah, we don't we don't want to get anybody else sick. Yeah, yeah, very good. That's part of winter, though, isn't it? Kitties look hungry. Yes, yeah, they're so starving. <laughs> <laughs> Is that nice? I think they are. For a reason this evening. And, it's nice. I think and awesome. this is also from Amazon. I don't have a name on the outside. <laughs> oh, but we have food. My goodness, you get four of here and a here? You guys. She's getting so vocal. She is very vocal. We've been talking about that today. Oh yeah, my gosh. She said, more, more, more. I don't have a name on this. We have a I case of Friskies pâtés. There's no paper. And a case of Friskies um, fillets. No, I don't have a name. So if you did this, you could send Mudgy a, a PM, let her know, or you can just pop it up there. And uh, I appreciate it. We love the food. Even though we had the cannibal, um, food never, ever goes to waste here. We, uh, we uh, are uh, very appreciative of every single can. Every single morsel and every single can, huh, Zelda? Here, squeeze my guys. Oh my goodness. And uh, it's so nice because when Mary comes, she helps us also keep um, our stock rotated. She's very good at it. And so right now, while that's full out there and we still have all the cans inside, I take the cans in there and then we keep that 
organized. And then Mary now on Friday nights or Saturdays when she comes, she'll tell Steve what she needs and he'll start bringing it out and we'll keep the, the piles rotated um, <clears throat> uh, so that we use what we've got first. First. How am I doing? I'm feeling so much better. Oh my goodness, so much better. I felt kind of crummy there. Sunday and Monday. Is that your crummy? Uh, yes. Okay. Yes. She's okay. doing much better. Heads up over there, Heather. Please come on up there. Good. They don't even. It doesn't even bother. Yeah, McHoney was the sickest, but she's doing great. Yeah. And Columbus fun. was second, and he's doing awesome now. Boop boop ba doo. Hey, Jane, are you holding on? Boop boop ba Oh, he says, I want to eat all this. <laughs> this is from Leon. Hey, Leon. I know what's in the end here. I can tell by the box. Or I think I do. Yeah. Leon, thank you. You are the the bearer of styrofoam plates. There are... <clears throat> There's five hundred of them in here. There's five hundred. Oh, and also, actually, there's a thousand all together. Mudgy and Lamb, thank you, because we have two boxes of these. And so I just uh, asked Steve. Oh no, no, Pat, Pat, and I. Pat brought these up. So there's two boxes of these. So there's a thousand all together. Thank you. Thank you. I'm glad to be feeling better too. Yeah. Thank you, Lamb. Oh, that's very nice, Firefox. I appreciate that. You see what she just did? She licks my clothes all the time. <laughs> You're a nut. You're a nut. Liam, thank you for the styrofoam. Appreciate it so much. I And in the mornings when I do breakfast, um, like when the cat plates are empty, I try to then use them again. Because I just scrape them off. And then I use them for uh, the next series, which is usually the Cat's Cove breakfast. And um, that's, it works out real good. Saves a little bit of money. This is Tabitha, the, the paper towel girl. There she goes. <clears throat> Can you come down here? Come on. Come on. Okay. Oh, but I'd rather not. Oops. Yeah. There is another one of these two seeds in the old story very mug up there for my dad. This is very nice. And those to clean up the food. So thank you, Leah. I appreciate it. I knew you were okay. I knew you were safe. Um, <laughs> I don't have a name on the outside of this one, oh, but maybe on the inside. Wow. Oh, Vernon, you are out like a light. <clears throat> this Aww. is from Katie L, too. Katie, thank you so much. This is our lurker friend from Canada. Katie, thank you. Oh, gosh, there's... <clears throat> There's three more Clorox wipes. Thank you. Yep. Okay. This is definitely for a few seasons. Although we use that year round, uh -huh. as you know. And this is Dial Antibacterial Hand Soap with Moisturizer. Uh -huh. uh, thank you. There's 12 of 12 of them in here, Mudgy. Uh oh. I think we got a little spillage. Let me check. Oops. Yep. Hey, Pat. Yeah, I think you're good. Oh, man, that smells good. This is, uh, what flavor is it? Aloe. Wow, that smells good. Pat, one of them must have got popped a little bit. Oh, do you think you could just rinse them off sure. for me? Thank you. Um, Katie, they're still good. They're, they're still good. The first box in this one was uh, three, <laughs> three containers like this of Clorox wipes. Yeah, we use we use those all the time. I use them all the time too when I do meds to wipe my hands and um, all that fun stuff. And oh, this is another one. Clorox wipes. There's three in there. 
Maybe that's what this is too. Oh, I think all these are. This one's Lysol. This one's Lysol. And this one is Clorox. Katie, thank you for this. I really appreciate it. So right here alone is 12, um, 12 of the uh, containers of either Lysol or um, Clorox. So I appreciate it. And we don't care if it's Lysol or Clorox. We love them. Love them. And I do have room for these on our uh, uh, shelf back there. I thought it was going to tip. I'll be right back. Mm -hmm. Okay, guys. Oh, one more here. Well, I found the one. Did you? Yeah, it popped open. Okay, but it's so it's okay. Yeah, it's okay. There's okay. one that the humidity up here is broken. Okay, but we have more of that one. Okay. Yeah. Did you notice the stuff on top of Vernon. He didn't even know. Okay. Let me see if that's about our kitties. This is my mom. Hang on. for a little while. So, you want me to tell you about Charlie? And I wanted to particularly make sure the mods knew too. And um, and I did keep it kind of quiet because I knew everybody was going to worry and that's hard. It's hard. It's hard for me to deal with when a cat is missing and it's hard. It's just it's difficult sometimes. It's um, trying to keep a good front on and yeah. So um, Sunday, you know the kitties get out on Sundays, Tuesdays, and Fridays. Friday, Sunday, Tuesday. That's that's their day they get out. The Kobe's. And so he did not come back on Sunday. And we didn't see them. Now, if it's warm outside and he's, and uh, we want the Kobe's to come in, he is one Kobe that we don't always worry about because he doesn't come back 100% of the time all the time. That's just Charlie. But um, when he does spend a couple days out from the cove, it's always in warm weather, and he's always visible. We always see him. Oh, there's Charlie. He's following us. There's Charlie. You know, he's following us around. Yeah, 
and uh, so we don't worry about that. But this time, we didn't see them at all. So uh, today's Thursday, so he was only gone Sunday night, Monday, Tuesday, when he was only gone four nights, which is long in this weather. We had cold, cold weather. Yeah, I don't know what happened. He looks perfectly fine. Looks perfectly fine. He was very hungry. Um, but he's, he's back. And I know there's a lot of chitter chatter going on out there of <clears throat> what's going on, what's going on, because we've been missing a few cats lately. I can't tell you what's been going on. I wish I could. I don't know. I just... I would like to think that there is no foul play. I know my neighbors along this... Well, we have no neighbors there. And we have no neighbors this way. It's only this way that we have neighbors. And they love the rescue center. They have always been super supportive of what we do here. Even when the peacocks get into their their gardens and rip up their gardens. They still like the rescue center. Um, so I don't know. I just simply don't know. Um, we're going to work on a few things. I am trying hard to uh, get the collars done. We I got done probably six or seven today, but there's a whole bunch more to do. No, no, no new cleaner. I and I don't know where they go. I just don't know. It bothers me. <clears throat> well, yes, yeah. Remember, these are cats that are are really more of an outside cat than what they are in. They never like being in here. That's just absolutely drove them crazy. And all the Kobe's and all the Porchies I have tried in here. They don't like it. They were not ever designed in their head to be inside cats. Um, we do leave them out two to three times a week because if we don't, they get very antsy and grumpy and grouchy and pacing and they're just unhappy. Leave them out and they're fine. And But keep in mind, we've been doing this for many, many years. And uh, it's been up until these last three episodes, we have never have had trouble. They come back. They come back. So I don't know. Other than who was it was a wanderer about four or five years ago. But that's four or five years ago. But well, that one came back too eventually. So I don't know. But it's such a worry. It's such a worry. It causes such stress on me and Connie and all the volunteers and you don't know you know it's that not knowing so we're working on some ideas on it we're working on some ideas and um, I'll keep you posted as things firm up on it my mom is doing pretty good she's doing pretty good she went to the hair doctor as she says today and she's doing good um, actually I just heard from Kelly not too long ago we're going to try to get her back here a little bit. And uh, remember, she has that other job, too, though, that she works full time. So um, we'll see how, how it all works out. Hey, yeah, big dinner bell, yeah. Yep, we're gonna, we've are gonna we got some ideas that we're working on. You don't have a fence. <laughs> what, what? What's going on in there? That pen. I got to put, um, you can put, what do you have to Columbus and McConney. Uh, you can use that. Okay. Uh -huh. yep. It looks like it was set up for somebody. Yep. And I've got these monopolized, <coughs> but there is the bottom one over there too oh. under the volunteer. Maybe that's a little easier. Yeah. Whatever you like. Okay. <laughs> but realize FFRC is the best. <laughs> so. Well, the GPSs um only work a very it's only like our GPSs are only I uh, forget how many feet but I've got it in the house that's it's not very far for a wandering cat so you know it's and they they're not cheap they're like a hundred dollars a kitty but I don't I don't think it's worth that for these cats because they go they can potentially go too far.
the real reason they do that is contentment. You know, when they do that as babies, that's how they stimulate the mama's mammary glands to um, produce the milk, or not produce it, but to drop the milk, let the milk down. Uh huh. And they carry that on into their older, older ages as a sign of contentment. Okay, little Frank. Cool. And they can lose their collars. Yep. Now we are putting new tags on. These are the flat tags. Oops. Every kitty here. So this is what I started working on today. Um, hey, Karen, can I use that? Oh, don't spill. Don't spill. I better check and see that. So, you know, the kitties have been wearing these kind of things here. And I do worry about those because I, I have seen where cats get those stuck on things. And I do worry about that sometimes. Ooh, homemade soup, yeah. Oh, homemade bread? Ooh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, there, now go. Go, go, go. So, well, it's not as much fun now. <laughs> so, we're going to start off with all new collars. Which we have, we have a, a lot of them, and these things just slip right on is just like Columbus, that. Is it? No, 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 that's bomb. So these are will not. Whoops! Once I get that on, they these these things will not come off. But they have to be safety collars. And before I put any on, I test them like two or three times. I actually threw one away today. That just, it was a safety collar, but it would not come off. That's how easily you want that to go. Ow. So they're designed to come apart like that. She's, she's yeah. like getting needles stuck in me. Oh, I know, I know. So um, we're working on that. That's one of the things. So that goes there. This goes there. This goes in here. So tomorrow, I'll just keep working on them as I can. And uh, we'll get them done. We'll get them done. And then, um, I can't find Columbus now. <laughs> Columbus, oh, he, he's got the black chair. Yeah. Is that right? Any questions, questions, anybody? We have Madison, actually. That's been a big topic for like a half a year. See, this is what complicates it. Okay, I'll tell you what complicates it. Well, if it if we were to fence in an area out there at Cat's Cove, that's doable. That's actually doable out there. And um, but it's not doable to do Kitty City, and the reason is is because we have Kitty Castle there, we have the shelter house there, we've got all the sheds, we've got the mail room, we've got so many buildings right there. That's where everybody comes in and goes. The parking lot is there. Uh, it's just a not a feasible thing to do for Kitty City. Um, but And if we did that, we would want it big because they're used to a whole farmyard. But it is um, a workable thing for cats cold. And that's where they spend, you know, nine and a half months out of the year. We're we're hoping that they will, LJ. And if they don't, if they don't, we can only do the best that we can. And uh, we're trying. You know, if they if they yank them off, that it happens. It's gonna happen. Um, Corley, I can't tell you what color she's got on right now. Oh no, it's not. That is impossible to do along the roadside. It, that is not possible because um, in addition to the roadside, we have woods everywhere around here. 
it's just you can't we can't fence in all of that and the driveway is there you know how would you how would you do that with the driveway yeah what happened at SFRC a year ago today was it one of the storms that we got last year that certainly got a lot of reactions <laughs> How? What happened a year ago? I know we had a lot of stuff going on in G January last year with all the snow. <laughs> oh, Coralie? Is that when Coralie came? Oh, new cupboards and the cabinets. Oh, gosh. Oh, my gosh. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Um, Mr. Slick is doing awesome. He's got my chair on the back. So, to doing this, it goes, whoop, and that's where he lays. He's, he's got it. <sighs> You'll see. Yeah, probably. He's, he sleeps anywhere. Um, the two kitties on Saturday are, are on Sunday. On Sunday. This is just tentative. All I know tentatively is that they will reach their destination in Parma about 8 o'clock Sunday morning. So I've got to call tomorrow to confirm all that. And then um, i got to set something up for somebody, maybe Connie, to take my place on Sunday. And uh, so Steve and I can go there. But there may be a chance that one of the kitties won't be able to come yet and that will be disappointing but they're not sure if the vets will give an okay for the baby baby to um, travel because it's so little so if that's the case we will probably set up a time when we drive down there and just just pick her up ourselves um, <laughs> um, they're very anxious to get the baby here. It's, she's six weeks old, not five. She's six weeks old. Um, you know, in good health, other than the legs. And the legs, I did find this out. And also found out that Storm is a gray kitty. And the legs do not come up at the front like truckers. They go straight, they go out the back. But where some of our kitties have the legs that come out here, um, they're they're crisscrossed severely so that's why um, the problem um, lays in the potty issues yeah no I think if we if if um, storm doesn't get to come on Sunday we'll just make a road trip ourselves there and go get her what is that the far seeing go on Think we would have to say we're doing pretty darn good right now. I thank you for asking, though. Um, you guys have been so do so doggone kind. There is no way I could even ask for anything. You all are just phenomenal. Yeah, maybe which wolf patches cookies. We don't know that yet about the legs. We we don't want to do that unless it's a uh, unless it's absolutely positively we know that it's the benefit way but um, right now that would be no oh my golly the new ICU machine let me grab a paper um, we, we found a place today that we um, uh, l would like to keep it and it's in the back thumpers room and oh my gosh I'm just so excited about it it's just awesome it is called a thermal care it's a portable animal intensive care unit and it has the dome it's water it's a water lined warmer um, the warmer is double walled it's so it's radiant heat
and drawing only the power of a 75 watt light bulb, the unit is economical to operate 24 seven without the constant attention required by hot water bottles, microwave hot sacks, or the feared electric pads. Because the unit is warmed by radiant heat through the water, there is no motor driven equipment and no fear of spark ignition with the use of oxygen. Vents on the top should be open. We've done, we've looked at that. Um, when the animal lies in the warmer, its body insulates the surface, the, to the sur support surface from the air. The temperature the patient feels is that of the heated water. It's most important is that it's uniform and safe heat. It has a humidifier and it um, has a nebulizer and with the nebulizer we can put medicine in that to help them with their um, upper respiratories. Um, with either of our nebulizers there is no condensation. They produce a visible aerosol mist with water particles intact at one to three micron size, small enough to reach the lower lower respiratory system. And the patient stays dry. That's the cool thing. That's the cool thing. Um, we have oxygen, so we can do that part for it. And it only takes one and three fourths gallons of water. The unit may be left on 24-7. There are no hot spots. It has a wonderful thermostat on it. It's so it's going to be so nice. It's going to be very easy. Very easy to use. You can program the thermostat. Isn't this awesome? I'm just so excited about this. So I, I went through some of it today. Today was a super busy day um, for me. Um, I'm just honored to have this. I'm just so excited. So these kitties that come in that are so cold. I know. I, gotta, I told Darcy I got to talk to her about something. And uh, I text her uh, that I have something cool to show her. But this is, there's a picture of it for those that didn't see it. Yes, it will be great for orphans and easily cleaned. Yeah, easily cleaned. Yeah, comes in with colds or for those that come in with hypothermia, the upper and lower respiratory. It's wonderful. And then what's nice is right beside that, right across where the counter is, the top drawer is where I keep my laser, the laser therapy. And um, so we can go, you know, from here to here to here to here and just do all that in there. Um, I'm going to bet that it's distilled water will patch, but I actually, I wondered about that myself, but I haven't seen that yet. But trust me, I will find out because I'm reading this top to bottom. Now I haven't seen anything that says it has to be that it has to be the distilled water. It doesn't. It doesn't need a special base. And you know what's really kind of nice is um, you know those uh, wood wood. Um, Things are about this big that Brad made us with the steps that go up for the kitties with CH to be able to get up high. Um, it fits there like it was made for it. It's really, really neat. Yep, it's a thermal care. Yeah. Yeah, I think so too, Mish. By, I think it's just, a, it's a light bulb. So we don't have to worry about sparks with the oxygen. Oh yes, yes, it's big enough you can put a litter in there. Yeah. Yep, I think it I think the distilled, yeah. So I'm very excited and very, very thankful.
I've been actually I've carried this around several times with me today. Grabbing a little bit here and a little bit there. Um I can't think of anything else that we need to cover. Um everybody's all on the floor. We're all okay. Oh, I know one thing. Sunday we have our volunteer meeting here at two at two o'clock. And um we're going to show the, I hope it'll be pretty much completed, our, um, our uh, store. And um, then I want to talk to Dawnstar about how we can do a, um, like a video of all of that. Because I know it'll take a little bit of t length of video to do that, just to show you all too. Or maybe I can just take the cam back there. That's probably what we'll do, is take the cam back there and uh, show it all to you then. Uh, not on Sunday, because Sunday's going to be way too busy. But um, it's just about ready. All of our new stuff is coming. It has come, not all of it, but most of it's here. So we're, we're just really excited about all that. My mom is doing good. Thank you. I haven't heard from Abner or Dickens yet. I asked them to, I asked him to, um, in a couple days to let me know. Yep, it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool over there. Yep. All right. Any? Uh, without PayPal, if you. Send a check, but you might want to do it like real soon, really soon, because I like to get the checks before the end of the raffles done, and that would be Monday. Um, and then also email me um, to let me know so that I have like a double reference on it. Rebecca is doing better. She's doing better and better. And actually, today on um, on Sunya, I walked up to her two, three times. And picked her up and held her, and she didn't run at all. Um, Ashley, my granddaughter, held Rebecca quite a while today. And um, um, she's she just did really well. She's slowly losing that that worried look in her eyes. Yeah, I don't. I think you're right, Pablo. I don't think we have mail on Monday, but if you mail it now, it'll get here Tuesday. But the raffle is Monday. That's okay. I've, you, nobody's ever stung me on a check, and you're just wonderful. I know that won't happen, and uh, but email me so that we can make sure we get your tickets in. The black one down there, that is uh, Scott. Okay, well, I'm going to... Finish getting the boxes picked up, here, and try to get to bed a little earlier because I need to start getting out here about 15 minutes earlier if I can in the mornings because it takes a while to do all the medicines. And yes, I did. I just realized you said um, uh, McHoney and Columbus are out and about now. Okay, thank you, and Jack, and Jack, thank you. Ah, good for you, baby. Good for you. Um, maybe one of the mods. Can you send my, the email to Moo Kitty for me? All right. Thank you, everybody. Appreciate all of you so so really very very much. I think you guys are just all wonderful.
You okay, Pat? Oh, it's just a little warm in here. Ooh. Here comes Trevor. Oh, oh, that's a good one. He's asking about uh -huh. the one in um, no candy. Thank you. 